Currently, we are working on implementing artificial intelligence in agriculture. In agriculture, in the sense, in the sense we mainly focus on detecting the pests and insects which attack the crops. In order to do it in a real time scenario, I went to a farm and managed to take some ticks which attacks the crops. And um, how it works means we need to put a camera in the field which detects the pests. So now we have the images of the pests that attack the crops. What we want to do is just build a model using these images which they after after building this model it will automatically detect the insects and pests in the crop. For the train our object detection model, we have created a custom data set with the images taken from the actual farms. So our object detection model reads the images from the folder and it detects whether there are pests present on the images or not. So once it detects that the pest is present on the image, it sends a notification to the farmer via a SMS and an email. The email would have details of the pest detected and the pest images as attachments Farmer can then take required action and tackle with the pests. As a part of future development, we'll be setting up Raspberry Pi and cameras in the farm to be monitored. Cameras would be clicking images and with the help of Raspberry Pi, the crop images would be sent to the server. This slide talks about the design details of the model. So for object detection, we have used Keras RetinaNet algorithm. So we did our analysis on the top-notch object detection models present in the market. The two models that we selected for comparison was Keras RetinaNet and Faster Arsenal model. Based on the speed, accuracy and performance comparisons, we selected Keras RetinaNet as our object detection model. For SMS, for sending SMS alerts, we are using Fast2SMS API and for sending email alerts, we are sending SMTP library. Another feature of our model is calculation of pest density. So pest density is nothing but the number of pests detected in an image. This feature is very important for the farmer as he can gauge the impact of the damage that has already been done on the farm. This slide shows the uh, pests that are currently detected by our model some of which are Tuta Absoluta, 5th Insta 9 and Thremspace. Now I will be showing you a small demo of the predictions that are done by our pet detection model. This is the prediction folder where we have kept some of the images that are captured from the farm and we are running these images through our pet detection model. So as you can see, the model is predicting the insects and it is also and it is also showing the pest density after every image. So since there is only one pest detected, the pest density shown is 1. If there are two pests detected in the image, then the pest density would be shown as 2. Once the detections are done, the model would trigger an email to the farmer and also an SMS notification would be sent. So this is how the email from our model looks like. It will show a list of pests detected and the attachment of the images on which the pests were detected. Now that we have a training model in place, I would now talk on how we can operationalize the same in the field. 
As I already mentioned, as part of the future development, we'll be installing Raspberry Pi and cameras in the field to be monitored. The cameras would be placed one above the crop and one below the crop and they would be moving on the entire field. This would enable the pictures to be taken at an angle that would cover most of the surface area and would result in accurate analysis. All the images taken by the cameras would be stored in a central server which can hold a huge number of images. Images would then be cropped and processed before feeding into the model to compute their respective outputs. So just to give you an idea, uh, so this, this would be the image captured by the camera. So before our model can predict, we will be cropping it into multiple small images so that the pest detection can occur more effectively. Furthermore, LEDs would be set across the trails in the farm to make it easy for the farmer to detect the pest infected areas. So this is how it would look like. So, uh, so the green LEDs signify that there are no pests in the area whereas the red LEDs indicate that there are pests detected in that particular area. Also, we plan to expand our pest detection model by training the model on more training data and also to increase the diversity with respect to the types of insects it can detect so that it works well during all seasons. These are some of the other applications of a pest detection model. It can be used in the warehouses for pest control. It can also be used in food storage plants and food manufacturing plants. So with this, we'll close our demo.